Davidson back at the Sabbath Center. Blues in the home blue. Trimmed in yellow. Rangers in the road white and blue in the red pants. Kevin Weeks back in net after 16 days. Rehabbing that ankle injury. 7-4-1. 2.79 in the 12 games he has played. Weeks 2 and 3. Career against the St. Louis Blues. Goals against 2.75. Patrick Laleem, 17 games this season after coming from Ottawa, 3-11-3, the goals against of 3.91. Yeah, he's not had a good start to his season at all. He did, they say, play well in the 5-4 loss in Tampa Bay a couple of nights ago. For the Rangers, they've dressed seven defensemen for this game as big Jason Strudwick is going to play up on the left side. So that means Kudrachev back in the lineup, and that means Billy Neiman and Colton Orr and Ryan Holwig not dressed. And the scratches for St. Louis, Dallas Drake, Matt Walker, and Scott Young. So two important players yeah. out Drake, right now for St. Louis. Drake and Young, they're very important players. They both had backs that tightened up on them during a game day skate a couple of days ago. So they can't play. They missed two straight, the two of them. And Scott Young in particular was playing very well. Rangers start with the Tom Pody. Better Tootin on defense. Jed Ortmeyer, Steve Leach, and Dominic Moore. St. Louis begins with Barrett Jackman, Lee Stepniak, Ryan Johnson, Jeff Hogan, Dennis Weidman, and then make some changes right here in the opening 40 seconds. Good forecheck by Johnson. He took the body well in the Rangers zone. Here's Kachuk, his first shift, and he's been playing well. Kachuk shot well wide of Kevin Weeks, moving up the right boards. Pops, who just arrived from Pittsburgh in the trade 24 hours ago as the Blues try to change things on the fly. Here is Kachuk, top of the circle. Stick has lost a shot. Quickly wide of Kevin Weeks. Back out to the point as the Blues try to apply some early pressure. Malik clears it though, and out of the zone comes Yager to strike it. That was a great setup by Kachuk over to Sillinger, but he missed the net on the play. A great setup. St. Louis starts quick here, working hard. Well, they had a good practice this morning. High tempo practice with Mike Kitchen, their coach. And we were talking to Larry Plo a couple of minutes ago, their general manager. They, they maintained their high spirit despite the poor record, which you have to have if you're going to ever get out of some of the depths of problems that they've had on ice. All right, here comes Hosa, the right wing. The little deep move. Now trying to backhand it to Pruka, who was going to the net. But Laleem was there to break it up. Like this matchup here, Doug Wade against Nylander. Passing centerman. Now Puka neutralizes avoids the hit as Johnson tried to take him Jackman. out. Oh, Jackman. He loves to hit. He's not had a good season at all. He's coming back from shoulder surgery. But boy, does he like to take the body. Now the Blues up the right wing boards, giving a chase. Jay McClement picked up by Ortmeier in the corner. Cross ice, Ortmeier banks it up out of... Dominic Moore's reach and will be touched up by the Blues for an icing. 17:41 left here in the first. Rangers, pretty good tempo to start the game, and you'll see Cody with the puck. There's a hit by Hogan against him right across and into the boards. Jackman just Pruka just missed a man. Did he take a look to try to nail Peter Pruka? Pruka jumped out of the way and avoided it. That means Pruka's sharp. You can avoid an attempted hit like that. He saw him right out of the corner of his eye, just in time, it looked like. You see what happened here? St. Louis comes right back with their third line. Well, not third line, with, with the Kachuk line. And right away, they put Ruchin against that line again. Ortmeier down a four check and a big hit behind the goal by Jed Ortmeier as he banged into Kevin Dahlman. Here comes Pody through neutralized puck, taken off of his stick, and back come the Blues, turning it the other way. Banked along the boards that time by Jamal Myers, picked up, Mayers rather, picked up by the Rangers. Pody just flips it up to neutralize. On the catch, it's Betts down the left wing boards, holding on to it now, looking for some help. Betts still has it. Out to the point it comes to Rosaval, his wrist are wide. Jason Ward leaves it there for Strudwick, playing on the wing tonight. Strudwick turns against the back boards. Maintains control up the left wing boards it comes. Betts there. And the Rangers keep it in. Wheeled around the right wing and giving chase Bryce Salvador. And the Blues able to clear it at center ice. And now here they come into the offensive zone. A backhand shot on Weeks. And penalty. a stop made a penalty on the Rangers coming up as Strudwick took down the Blues forward who was going hard to the net. Strudwick on the back check. It ends up Ryan Johnson who threw the first big body check in the game. He gets knocked down. 
Malik had the puck and lost it with St. Louis finishing checks all over the place. Look to the left side, and there's Strudwick knocking down Ryan Johnson. There's no doubt that was a penalty. Here's Ortmeier moving in. That's the Rangers' best hit of the game. And St. Louis, a team that is now number 23 on the power play, get a chance to go to work. Kachuk takes the face off, waits a playmaker. This should be a pretty good power play with Kachuk back in the lineup. But St. Louis is hitting here, Mike, hitting a lot early. The Blues are a little bit better at home, 17th on the power play. Big blast by Waite. It's chipped up and into Weeks' his pants, made a stop, a shot, and he still made another oh, stop. That's, that's a terrific save. Kevin Weeks hung in there on the second attempt. It came from Dennis Weidman. Yeah, He's Weidman, he, he finds the puck. This original shot coming up right here actually deflects. That's Doug Waite. No, pardon me, it's not. It deflects and Kachuk's in front like we expected, and then the puck's loose. And look at Kevin Weeks' battle to get up, especially with the traffic from his own players, and make the save and hang on to the puck. St. Louis looks good early here. They've done some good things early. Sillinger and Moore on the faceoff. Rangers get possession up along the boards, kept in by the Blues. And on the right wing outside the circle, they still have it. Sillinger behind the next to Kachuk, who takes a hit down there. And a nice play there by Kondrachev to clear it out. Kondrachev knocked a very strong player in Kachuk right off the puck. That's a good job by Kondrachev, who's been watching from the stands the last couple of games. And the Rangers second in the league in penalty killing. But on the road, they're mm. ninth. Moving in, a nifty move there, but the Rangers able to take it away. As Sillinger was about to tee it up, the Rangers broke the play up. Minute five left in the man advantage. To neutral ice, cruising across the blue line, holding on. Now looking to turn and take a shot. Doug Waite fires to the point. It's deflected wide. Waite picks it up in the circle. Cross ice. Nice play there by Eric Weinrich to keep it in play. And now Fetter Tutin has it and clears it all the way down ice. Weinrich, a veteran defenseman, was in Philadelphia. In fact, his family, his wife and kids still stay in Philadelphia because of the school systems and things. And uh, 38 years old. Yeah. He's in great shape. Yeah, he is. Amazing shape. And he's a good man, too. He really helps young defensemen. And Robert's still part of the Blues organization. Oh, great shot in. And Weeks made two saves. It's loose in the crease. Still loose. Simon Gamache could not set it up and shoot it, though. The shot came from Kevin Dolman, and Weeks has been sharp early on. Sharp. Yep. I think so, and so was St. Louis with their power play. They've had three really good scoring chances, and Weeks has been solid early. Nylander in on the forecheck, takes it away along the boards, but he's got no help. It's five blues down in the zone. The Rangers finally react to it. The Rangers were changing. St. Louis had one shot, or five shots on the power play, rather. 0 for 1 to start the game. Here's Yager. Playing a little defense now. Now works it into the center, neutral ice. He's got Pruk on his left wing with him, draws the defense. Nylander has it along the goal line. Looking for Pruka. Cross ice, it comes to Kondratyev. Rister in just wide, tipped by Yager. Nylander back behind the goal, along with Pruka. But the Blues come up with it, Dennis Weidman. He just kept in. Got to go back and touch up on an offside. 13.45, left in the first, no score. Blues with just three wins here at home this year. 3-10, one overtime loss. Rangers 9-6-2 on the road so far. That is second best in the National Hockey League. Now it's Betts. Lost the red line, now the blue line of the offensive zone. Yager tried to Double team, set man. somebody up, but they <laughs> collapsed on him. Puck ends up in the Blues bench. He didn't have much time to make a play, did he? Yager double teamed. Let's take a look at the Panasonic digital replay. Point shot coming. There's Keith Kachuk in front. But Ryan Johnson there too. It's Weeks with a good save through traffic. Oh, Gamash had the shot there. Brilliant shot. Oh, Dolman. You were right, Mike. I'm sorry. My apologies. Yager double teamed. Man, he had to make a play in a hurry. He got double teamed. Panasonic digital replay. Ideas for life. Better tooting back to retrieve the puck behind Weeks. Leaves it there. Cody picks it up. Now ahead it comes to Betts. Betts skating along the left boards. Checked off the puck for the moment by Aaron Downey. The Rangers have it in the offensive zone. It's Betts, but it's turned back the other way. 
Jay McClement with the puck along the goal line got a shot in on Weeks at a strange angle and it was a rebound that Weeks had to kick out as well. You know as an ex-goaltender those shots are dangerous because you're trying to think move to my left because there's going to be a pass so you open up a little bit and then the player doesn't pass the puck he tries to put it on goal that's a tricky tricky play. Shots are 7-1 Blues they had five on the power play early on here. Saturday night in St. Louis. St. Louis one man deep and the rest stay back out by the blue line. It's like a 1-4 or a 1-2-2. And the Rangers have to find a way to get, yes, the puck deep. And now go retrieve it if they can. Strocker, Rachinsky, Yager on. Puck kept in offside. and no, not quite by Michael Rosaval offside. And as Rosaval handled the puck, he got hit. So St. Louis skating well, taking the body well. And Kevin Weeks has been the best player for the New York Rangers. Mike Kitchen, the head coach, you'll see the one man deep by St. Louis. One man deep, look at one, two, three, four players, the blue line to center ice. So what they're saying is, okay, if you can beat our one guy, we're going to try to make life miserable for you towards center ice. And so far, the Rangers have not gotten into an offensive rhythm. Here's another. Look at Sillinger's deep. The rest are back waiting, back waiting, back waiting. Let's see if the Rangers can attack with speed. Almost like a neutralized trap to it to an extent there, the way they're playing. Yeah, and the Rangers just turned the puck over as Jogger got checked and lost the puck at the blue line. Jamal Mayers redirects and then delivers a hit in the corner. Puck comes loose. The centering play by Sillinger broke up by the Rangers. Now Straka back the other way. He's been suffering with a little bit of a tricep muscle problem. Rachinsky sets up Jogger. Jogger taken out from behind, a penalty coming. And the Rangers will have the man advantage as Jogger took a shot. And yep. from behind, he was hit. Yeah, Mayers, J Jamal Mayers, who's a real strong guy. He had just thrown a big body check behind the Rangers net. He came all the way back on the back check. Not happy with the call as Yager's going to draw the penalty. He wants the puck. Yager had changed zones and sides. Jamal Mayers tried everything, even let go of the stick to try to avoid the call. But the call's made, and the Rangers now, with only one shot so far, will have a power play to work with. And the puck is cleared out of the zone by the St. Louis Blues. Second unit for the Rangers on the ice as the first unit was on the ice when they drew the power play. It was Jager. And the Rangers overall in the power play, 19th in the league right now. 31 of 184 on the road, 22nd. So that unit has been struggling to find yeah. the solution lately. 0 for 13 on this trip so far. 0 for 9 in Chicago and 0 for 4 in Nashville. They needed it in Chicago. It didn't work. In Nashville, they need a penalty killing, which they got. The power play wasn't necessary. Well, you could say they should have won the Chicago game had they been functioning on the yeah, power well, play. Absolutely. It was there for them. Well, credit Chicago, too, with some good goaltending and great penalty killing. Very aggressive penalty kill. Turned back the other way by Doug Waite. Waite trying to set his man up, and there's a penalty with the Rangers now. And you see and Jeff Hogan reaching for his face. He got the stick up high. I think Pody was the player. And he'll go to the penalty box. Is it one minor, or will it be two minors? Now Hogan is being attended to immediately. Yeah, Ray Borelli, the trainer, is out there to help him out. He's been clipped up near the nose. There's the puck moved in front, and you can see Pody waved at the puck, and his stick came right up and got the Blues forward in the face. There's the pass across. There's the stick. It's a double minor. So, somewhat similar to Nashville, the Rangers get into trouble in the first period with penalties. They've already had to kill one off where the St. Louis team had five shots on it. Then the Rangers get a power play as Hogan goes for re for repairs. The Rangers get a power play and do nothing with it. And now we'll have four on four play for a minute 11. And then for just about three minutes, St. Louis will have a chance to work their power play if there's no other calls. So the Rangers putting pressure on their PK unit early in the game once again. Double minor to Pody for the high stick. Weeks makes a save on the shot from Steve Pops, who just arrived from Pittsburgh. The veteran. Pops. There's about 18 minutes on ice for Pittsburgh throughout the season so far. And here he is. Yager now controlling. Trying to set up Kondrachev on an empty little play. Kondrachev couldn't get control of it now. He's deep in the corner there. And Nylander. Back to Yager. Four on four. Yager turning top of the circle. Now another spin move. Feeds it to himself, looking to set up somebody. Puck gets knocked loose, and St. Louis comes up with it. First 10 minutes of this game, you wonder why the Blues have lost five, or have only won five games. Bouncing puck in on weeks. They've yeah. taken the body. Their checking has been very good. They played their system well, but it's only 10 minutes in. Well, as Mike Kitchen mentioned, you know, it got to the third period of a number of games, and won only two, and they had a lead eight times. So. Two, they're two and six 
with leads in the third period. Here's Dominic Moore, hard on the right wing, and a backhander got in on the lane. The rebound came out, but Waite was there to pick up the puck. He looks up at the clock, knows there's five seconds to go on the minor to Jamal Myers, Mayers, pardon me. Now it's power play time, so good play by Doug Waite. Heavy play as his team sets up the power play unit. 2.45 in the man advantage here. Waite whips it around the boards. Eric Malik is down there, he leaves it. Nice play by Malik, and is picked up by Dominic Moore. Two on two, he skates with Ortmeier to the offensive zone. Nice move by Moore, but he lost control of the puck. Now Ortmeier flips it backhanded behind Laleem. So Moore will go for a line chain. He's out, out of there on the kill unit. And in is Blair Betts. Steaming in Kachuk. And taken down on a nice check there by Fetter Tootin, but the Blues still have it. Back to the point it comes. Left point, now back to the right point, and a big shot knocked down by the defense came from Dennis Weidman. And well, Jason Rangers, Ward has it. Rangers loving the work that Strudwick's giving them. He's killing penalties as a defenseman. He's playing forward at even strength. They wanted him to stay in the lineup, and they go with seven defensemen. And he's given them some good work, even though he took the penalty earlier. Kondrachev stood up the advances of Kevin Dahlman at the blue line, and that set up the Rangers to clear it out. Yeah, good PK this time by the Rangers, not allowing St. Louis yet. There's still 140 to go. Any time at all to set up in the Rangers' zone. The Rangers have just one shorthanded goal all year. Jason Ward has that one. Here's Sillinger, right wing, nifty move, gets through the defense of Kasparitis, who couldn't retrieve it. But Cameron down in the corner, backhanded along the boards by Ruchinski and out to Ruchin. Yeah, nice play there by Kondratyev to move the puck up. Kasparitis did a good job taking the body. Banked into the corner, Kondratyev's there with it. Tried to wrap it hard along the boards, doesn't come out. Spins on a funny angle, but then clears it out. Good job by Kondratyev, and the Rangers now with a minute to kill on this St. Louis power play. I've been impressed with Kondratyev here in the first period. Just 12 minutes in. Moore, Ortmeier, Roosevelt, and Malik right now for the Rangers. And Roosevelt comes up with it. Wraps it down the other end. And Laleem has to catch it. And reset. 46 seconds and counting. Center ice comes Kachuk on the right wing now. Moving in top of the circle. Maintain control, but then stick checked by Ortmeier. The, the Rangers, Rangers take it away. St. Louis trying to score in the rush now. They have not had any setup time during this double minor. They've well, about three minutes they've had to work with on their power play. And they're hearing it a little bit from the sparse Saturday night crowd here in St. Louis. Yeah, their first power play looked really good. Yes, it did. The Rangers there. Yeah. Strudwick did a good job of stick checking. Tootin tried to clear it out, but it ends up behind the goal. He retrieves. Moves it up along the left wing boards and Mike, out. I didn't know much about Jason Strudwick until he became a Ranger. And now you talk to his teammates. I mean, he, he can run for mayor amongst his own teammates. <laughs> That's how much respect they have for him. The coaches. John, how about this one? 13, 3, and 3 when Strudwick's in the lineup. So he's been playing and they've been winning when he plays. They've been winning anyway. But set up there. Kondratyev intercepts. Back to Yager. Now ahead it comes. And a nice stick check that time by the defensive Weidman. Took it off the stick of... Cody as he heads back to the bench. Six and a half to go in the first. St. Louis 0 for 3 on the power play. Five shots total. Weeks holds on. 625 left in the first. No score. Well, the Rangers needed a big penalty kill and got it. Dominic Moore working with Jed Ortmeier. They always seem to be a pair killing penalties together. They work in unison well. Keith Kachuk double teamed. Better Tootin and Strudwick nailed him. And there's another play by Strudwick as he used his foot, his stick, his long reach, and was moved back to the blue line. Did a terrific job as the Rangers needed a penalty kill and got it. Now they need to find some offense. Yes, they do. Down deep in the zone, Ryan Johnson tried to feed a teammate down in the corner. And Ryan Johnson's worked hard every shift. Rycroft doing battle down there. Comes out to Yager on the right wing boards. Yager with a little deke, and he has it. But junior hockey. You know, you get a little older, long in the tooth, Mike, when you play junior hockey years ago with kids, fathers who are now playing in the NHL. The Rycroft father, Al Rycroft, I played with him. He was a good man. The upcoming schedule brought to you by North Fork Bank, and it's home sweet home for the Rangers. The next four, here are the next three. Vancouver Tuesday, 7, Colorado on Sunday, 5 p.m. Then Tuesday, the Devils, 7 o'clock start, all on MSG, Hyundai. Rangers game night precedes MSG games, so the Rangers who have been on the road here this week are home over the next two weeks, so be sure to check out the blue shirts on Broadway. And the Rangers home cooking has worked.
10 2 and 2 on home ice. That's helped their season dramatically. It's been a good part of their game. They have regained the home ice advantage. So they have not been there over the last few years. Wait tried to center and they're calling penalty. a penalty there as Dean McCammon was going hard to the net. It looked as if. Well, Peter Pruk is getting Pruka. the call. Was that behind but, the play? Yeah, when, when McCammon was going to the net, he had Roosevelt on him. But Pruka away from the play is the player given the penalty. The Rangers are not, they don't have their legs going. And they're having a, a period here where they're going to end up being shorthanded for the for another time. See the, oh boy. Well, you can't put your stick on a body. And he put his stick on the body. Didn't have to. It was Gamash who drew the penalty. And the Blues again go on a power play. Banked out of the zone by Kasparaitis. That was one, John, where to me that was a quick whistle almost. Even though I yeah. agree with you, it's supposed to be called. Yeah, you know, keep your stick down. Don't put it in the midsection. You won't be called. Here's Kachuk. Fires you know, it across. It doesn't yeah, I take much of a stick into the midsection to slow a person down skating, right? Yeah, you're right. So, you just Weinberg's don't need to of, do it. Weinberg's out at the right point right now for the Blues. Blues on the power play have struggled on the season. Out to the point it comes to Weinberg, now he sets back. He's there for a wait. Stick check, stick handles. Now it's Kachuk along the goal line, looking for somebody in the slot. Had a man for the moment, but Kasparaitis broke that play up. As Mike Sillinger was sitting there waiting for it. Good strength by Kasparaitis, real good strength. Kasparaitis trying to clear it straight on. Kachuk scored on a backhand. Weinrichs into intercepted the clearing pass, then set up Kachuk, and the Blues have a 1 0 lead. You know what? The Rangers had two chances here. The first time they had the puck, once they work hard and recover it in the corner, Kasparitis will fire the puck, but it hits the referee. Right here. It hit the referee. Came back into play, and then Kasparitis tried to clear the puck and didn't. He put it right to the Blues, and you can see the puck put in by Keith Kachuk, who's been red hot for this hockey club. Kachuk looks, looks, looks. Nothing happens here. Kasparitis wins this battle, but his puck hit the referee. If it doesn't hit the referee, Kudrachev moves it out. Now that still shouldn't cause the goal. First of all, Kasparitis didn't move it out of the zone, and then it was not a real hard shot, but when you're hot like Kachuk is, it finds its way into the net, and the Blues have worked and deserved the one nothing lead. That's his sixth of the year for Keith Kachuk. The little backhander slid under Kevin Weeks. The Rangers under pressure. Trying to kill penalties for much of the first period here. Well, you take penalties when you're not skating and you're not sharp and the stick comes up from Pody and clips a guy. You're not going to get any offense. The Rangers have had two shots and there's under four minutes to go in the period. And, and now, they're being out hit too. Yeah, big hit there down in the corner. That time by Aaron Downey. Moving in Jason Ward and an offside on Jason Strudwick with 343 left here in the first. When you're hot, you're hot. For Keith Kachuk, he's now been involved and been on the well, he's been on the ice for the last 12 goals that the St. Louis Blues have scored. 12. And they could have used him all season long. The Blues have taken the body. That means the Rangers are being forechecked. And there was a hit. You see Ward there make that bets, couldn't find the puck. He was looking around for it. And the Blues just moved in and took the body. When you take the body like the Blues are and you're not taking penalties. You're playing pretty darn well. Five, they hustle. Five goals in the last four games for Kachuk. This is just his eighth game of the year. The team's 26th. So you are correct, John. That shot got in on Weeks, and he got a skate on it. Now back the other way. Rachinsky rips one and scores! Martin Rachinsky from just the top of the circle beat Patrick Laleem, and we're all tied at one. Well, Yager will get a point. He made the nice pass. The Rangers exploded out of their zone, and Ruchinski might even have been a rolling puck. Puts it in the short side. The Blues needed a big save and didn't get it here. They've worked hard all period long. There's the battle. Roosevelt's there. Strzok is there. The wraparound doesn't work, and then there's the chip play. Ruchinski to Yager, back to Ruchinski. A rolling puck. Well outside the top of the circle. The lean was well out, but he was beaten on the short side. And we're tied at one. With that puck rolling and the way Ruchinski can shoot it, I don't think Lalim could find the puck at all. No. Good play by Ruchinski and Yager. He found that short side and beat him. Ruchinski's first since coming back from his knee problems. Did have three assists in the game. And now here come the Blues. Take away deep in the Rangers zone, but the play broken up by Kasparaitis. Kondrachev. 
Oh, Nearly so hooked down. Now out to Dominic Moore. Moore cross ice. Ruchin skating with Ortmeier. Ortmeier took a hit there at center, and the puck sent back in the Ranger zone. Yes, Yager does get a, an assist. The seventh of the year for Yurchinsky. At 16 38, we're tied at one. Barrett Jackman back with it. Out of the zone they come. Doug Way intercepted there. Nice play by Straka. Straka sets it for Chinsky. Gets it back. Fires. Laline made a stop. And it was a good shot. He had to make a good save. Back come the Blues. Tootin giving chase. He and Simone Gamash. And Rachinsky has it back. Skating well. Rachinsky over the blue line. What's he going to do along the right wing boards? Trying to leave it for Yager. Still has control. Now Straka. Yager deep in the corner. Being harassed there. Yager stays on his skates for the moment, then taken down. Pody in deep. Trying to keep it alive. 207 left in the first. It was Salvador, who's a strong guy that played against Yager, knocking Yager down. Yager now has 47 points. Leads the entire league by four points over Jason Spezza, the young centerman for the Ottawa Senators. Nylander gets control of it. Minute 50 remaining. Cross ice pass to Pruka by the intercepted way, by the Blues. Mike Peter Forsberg came back today after being out with a groin injury. Goal and assist, first star in the Philadelphia 3 2 win over Minnesota. LA Kings had a 3 1 victory as well over Florida. Pavel Dimitra had two goals in that one, number 15 and 16. So the Blues sorely missing him. Here's Hosa behind the net with the puck taken away. Mike Sillinger has it. He almost sensed the Blues and giving up the goal. They needed a big save and didn't get it that they've dropped their emotional game just a little bit. And they needed a big save and haven't gotten much of it this season from Patrick Berlin, who's a good guy trying to find his game. But that sort of just, you work so hard, they had a one nothing lead, and all of a sudden it's 1-1 with a minute to go in the period. Yeah, Laleem on the season, 3-11 and Final minute of the first period. Play at center ice. Betts with a nice backhand move to get it back down into the blue zone. Betts giving chase along with Jason Ward. And picked up along the boards by Lee Stepniak. Sent into the Rangers zone by Mark Rycroft. That was Rangers Step pick it up. Stepniak's from Buffalo. And his parents drove down to Columbus to watch him play. And in Columbus, he scored his first NHL goal. His mom and dad sitting in the stands. West Seneca, New York. Upstate New York. For Stepniak. So nice to have family and friends on hand. Nice backhand move that time on a centering play. But Weeks is there to control it as Dean McCammon and Doug Wade almost combined to give the Blues the lead with 18 seconds left in the first. That's always good speed that McCammon has had. He flipped the puck up, went and got it himself, and then put it in front. Doug Wade was actually checked nicely by Jason Ward. Ward stayed with him on the back check. Now Ward's got his man over the right side. Get to him, get to him, and stayed right with him. Got it actually in between the puck and the man. See Ward pick him up and stay with him. Actually took the shot away as McCammon made a nice little pass back in front. Ward did the job on the back check right to his net with Doug Waite. Wachinski in the face-off circle with Mike Sillinger to the left of Weeks. 18.1 seconds left here in the first. Wachinski does win it. Backhands it to the corner, but picked up by Waite, who centered Kachuk, and Weeks made the save. That was a big one for Weeks. Kachuk was right there, as he always is, on the doorstep. Now Yager. Tootin picks it up at center, and that ends the first period with the Rangers on a goal by Martin Rachinsky, tying it at one in the final four minutes of the first. There's a lot of people here in St. Louis hope Keith Kachuk stays hot. And he'll help their hockey club. And then on top of that, the U.S. Olympic team come Italy in February. They could use a Keith Kachuk if he plays like this. Well, he's back in form, no doubt about it. In just his eighth game back, he now has 12 points. 12 points for Kachuk in eight games. Well, fans, now two great games come together on MSG for the PokerRoom.TV shootout. Want to play? Go to msgnetwork.com to enter, then prepare to face your fellow fans on the ice. For a winner-takes-all shootout, go to msgnetwork.com to play PokerRoom.tv shootout. John Gino now standing by with Doug Wade. John? Hi, Mike. Thanks. Yeah, Dougie, your team worked out, outworked, or maybe even skated faster than the Rangers in the first. That said, is it disappointing that you walk off with a tie? Yeah, it is when you outplay a team and uh, you get a lot of power play chances and get the lead. You know, you want to come in uh, with the lead, but got to deal with it. We're in a good position right now. We feel like we're playing well today, and uh, 
you got to keep coming at him in the second and uh, get that one back. What was preached to you guys coming in about this Ranger team that so little was expected of yet so much has been produced so far? Well, obviously they're playing great and uh, they have a lot of confidence and a lot of skill. And, and uh, you know, you got to take away their time and room and uh, not put them on the power play and uh, get our kind of momentum at home going here and try to get the lead. And I think if you can do that and not change your game, uh, you can beat anybody in this league. John Davidson was just talking about the upcoming Olympics. Is that starting to creep into your mind a little bit, how exciting that might be? Well. You know, as you know, we're, we're struggling right now, so what's creeping in my mind is trying to win the next game and, and trying to turn the ship around slowly as a team, and, you know, uh, that's my first responsibility. Anytime uh, you mention the Olympics, it's a great uh, great honor, and hopefully I can make the team and, and uh, contribute to a, to a great tournament, but, uh, you know, right now we're just trying to get a win and, and focus on the next period. Dougie, thanks. Thank you. Doug Wade, a familiar face for Ranger fans. Second round pick in 1990, Mike. All right, thank you, John. Thanks to Doug Waite. Our first intermission continues. Rangers won, Blues won on MSG. New York Rangers hockey brought to you in part by American Express. My life, my card. And by Canon, your source for document management. Back at the Savas Center, Blues Rangers won one. Time for the... All-important trivia contest of the night. Mike Crispino, John Davidson, John Giannone playing for Al Troutwig. Name the four defensemen to win the Norris Trophy while wearing number two. Wow. wow. Four yeah. defensemen wearing wear number, number two. two. Norris Trophy. Norris yeah, Trophy. Yeah, That's okay. the... John, you have, uh, this is the Nissan trivia question. Well, Work I, will, on this. I will say first off, Mike, you assumed that I was giving my points to Al, but you know what they say about assuming. Uh, I, get, I tried to give my points to Al the last time. That worked uh, not well. So this time they're going to Sam Rosen, who has well, been oh. nothing but kind to me on this trip. So <laughs> this will be my reward to him. When Al gets wind of that, that's going to be a problem, John. You well, know the Or War number four. Just thought yeah. I'd mention it. Thanks. I have a lot of problems. I got that one. I got that one. I, I see two out if you need two. You need two. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. All right. We'll work on that. You work on that at home. Come up with your answers, scratch them down, earn some points. As the Rangers with Jed Ortmeier on, Tom Pody, Steve Ruchin, Dominic Moore, and Fetter Tootin to start the second period. Steve Ruchin has fans here all the way from Anaheim. Of course, he played for the Ducks all those years. He laughed about that yeah. this morning. <laughs> His fans, <laughs> fans came all the way, all the way, they flew all the way to St. Louis. I he ran says to, to watch me. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into people today in the hotel that uh, flew in from New York and New Jersey just for the game, just to come in and watch this game. They're flying back home tomorrow. Good here's, hockey. Here's fans. my question. If if Peter Stastny, Joe Mullen, Grant Fuhr, Bertie Federko, and all these guys, Brian Sutter in the Hall of Fame here, yeah. why not you? <laughs> why not John? So, so those people are in the B. The Hall stories of fame. I've heard in the 24 hours we've been here, you deserve to be in the Hall of Fame here. Had a good time here. <laughs> two years, two years, early, early 70s. How about the bowling hall? Of fame? Can I nominate you for that? How about slow pitch? <laughs> slow pitch, maybe. I, you know, I've never seen you play slow pitch. You're probably pretty I good at it. You play a lot of fast pitch at one time with the for Yeah. Well, you, well, let's see if the Rangers uh, pick up. Get a little fast pitch into their game after the first period where they were outplayed. Nice play there. Intercepted by Simone Gamache and a shot wide of Weeks. Who's setting up behind the goal line. Now in the circle, they try to get a shot in, but Malik knocked that down with a skate. Yager has it for the moment. Chips it up to Ruchinski along the boards. And uh, now out, and actually into the Blues bench. Well, give something different this holiday season. Give them Rangers hockey. Purchase $100 worth of ticket certificates and receive a free autograph puck. It's the ultimate gift for your favorite Rangers fan to purchase the Garden Box Office. Call them, or visit them, rather, or call 212-465-6080. Looking for Christmas ideas. You know who's here watching this game? The Atlanta Thrasher general manager, Don Waddell, who's the general manager for Team USA for the Olympics. He's here to watch Doug Wade, who he says is on the team. And he's here to really watch Keith Kachuk because he hasn't played very many games this season, as you mentioned, Mike. And if he liked what he saw in the first period, it's going to be a good chance for Kachuk to have a chance to go to Italy and play and represent the U.S. And we heard those comments uh, from Jeremy Roenick here earlier in the week about what he thought the uh, composition of the team should be. And, uh, you know, I don't know how well those are going to sit as that shot is deflected wide. What did he say? Yeah, he wants, I should be on it. There's no question. <laughs> I should be there, and uh, you know, 
I don't That's know. He's Jeremy. pretty adamant about it. He really was. If, if I'm not on that team, there's something wrong, in other words. To two. There's a slashing penalty to Nylander. And the Rangers go to the box again That's to start a, the second. That's a ganache again. He knocked the puck out of midair earlier on this shift. And this St. Louis team right now is relentless. They kept on working, and Nylander came down. Not hard, but he came down with a stick. There. It actually knocked Ganache down some, so Nylander sits in the penalty box. The Rangers were shorthanded for 5.43, almost six minutes in the first period, and the Rangers had 49 seconds of power play themselves. So hypothetically, if this goes a full two minutes, it'll be almost eight minutes already that St. Louis has had penalties, our power play time. That's just it's out of whack for the Rangers. they got to start playing the game. Fourth Ranger to go to the box. Here's Ortmeier. On the rush up the right wing with Dominic Moore, and Ortmeier takes a hard hit and goes down from behind, and there's a penalty, penalty yeah. there. So the Rangers, with their penalty kill being aggressive, wiped out that power play. Sillinger moved over, took the body, and they're calling it boarding. Ortmeier's on the puck, stops, turns, and it got shoved from behind. It must be, I guess, because it was from behind. Ortmeier never went banging into the boards. It was parallel with the boards. So Sillinger sits. And we're now back to even strength. It'll be four on four. 20 seconds into that power play. That penalty came. So Yager wins the faceoff along the far side boards. Gives to Straka, who turns. Not looking for an opening. Backs it away. Gives it up along the boards to the blue line. And now there is Yager. Top of the circle, Yager's shot didn't get all the way through. Lalim made the stop as Roosevelt was there. And then Kachuk went over and gave Roosevelt a shot. Official stepping in for the moment to make sure nothing else breaks out. The Yager's shot, as he cuts to the middle, gets blocked, almost stopped. And then with Roosevelt's stick, a little love tap to the hand of Lalim. That's why Kachuk went over and had a couple of words for the Rangers defenseman. Face off one by the Blues. By Salvador. Back along the boards. Now in the corner. Straka pressuring him. Yager comes up with it behind the goal line. Looking for somebody to feed. Holding on to it. All the way out to the top of the circle now. Yager on the lead there. To Malik who steps back to the point. Cross ice pass. Roosevelt. They bank it off the boards to Yager again. Near side boards. Turning. Yager moves in top of the circle. But the play broken up by Kachuk. And Malik has to go back and chase it down. 16 and a half to go in the second. Here's Yager again. Moving in the slot, tried to set up Straka. Play broken up that time by McCammon. Straka again behind the goal in the corner. Puck taken away by Steve Cox, playing his first game with the St. Louis Blues. And now the cross ice give to McCammon. And in on the left wing, on a strong move by Waite. Kondratchev got a stick into him. Drachev leaned on him just enough to break away the uh, to uh, knock away the play at the net. Just four minutes gone here in the second in a tie game. Weeks made that stop on an odd angle. Blues come up with it again. Playing four on four here. Final seconds of that. Kondrachev on the far side boards with it. Kondrachev, Kasparitis, Peter Pruka, and Rachinsky, who has the only Ranger goal, is seventh of the year. Punk set in there off Kondratchev's stick. He's got to retrieve it along the left boards. Leaves it on the backhand. And the Rangers, the Blues, the Rangers power play seconds away. And that will be over immediately here as Sillinger's back on. Deep in the corner. Nylander now. Centering to Tootin. Trying to get a wrist drop. Couldn't do it. Wartmeyer tries to tee it up. He can't do it. And he tried to feed Dominic Moore in the slot. Aleem just blockers it aside and out of the zone. Five minutes gone here in the second. 1-1 one, one tie. Nifty pass that time by Ruchin. And Moore trying to tee it up, and he broke, broke his stick. stick. They caught the Blues on a line change on the play. The Blues were changing. The puck didn't go deep. Rangers had a three on two, and Moore broke his stick. Ruchin centered. Hosa shot it. Saved by Laleem. Broken stick is still in two pieces. Hosa out of the corner with it. Rangers getting to loose pucks now, Mike. Now they're winning the races for the loose pucks. Ruchin has it behind the goal line. Out to the point it comes. Cody tried to wrist it in, and he scores. Or Strudwick got yes. a piece yes, on the did. deflection, and the Rangers take the lead 2-1. For Strudwick, his second goal as a New York Ranger. Pody played with a puck that was right on the blue line. 
And for the first time in the game, Rangers are now winning the races that earlier St. Louis was doing. They're getting to loose pucks. Pody with the wrist shot, knocked down by Strudwick, who's playing forward and also playing defense, killing penalties, but the Rangers lead for the first time in this game. Loose pucks, loose pucks. Rangers get to it. There's Ruchin getting to a puck. There's Hosa working on the puck. Tries to get through the broken stick that Moore had broken earlier. Now watch the wrist shot. Watch Pody right on the blue line. The linesman said it's okay. And there was a little deflection by Strudwick and a screened goaltender. Watch Strudwick in front. Look at the goaltender. How does he find the puck? Didn't even see it. Strudwick will get credit, I'm sure. Strudwick's second of the year, it should be. Pody's eighth assist. He's yet to score, but he's got eight assists from the blue line. Rangers now cycling the puck. Hosa trying to center bets, ends up at the left point. Shot got in on Lalim, but just wider than that. The Rangers need to get their rhythm and, their, and to get their rhythm going good here, Mike, because it looks like the Blues are fragile. And now they've dropped their game a notch. Rangers are picking theirs up. Ruchin also has an assist on the goal by Strudwick, which came at 5.32. Hosa had a great shift there as well. Strudwick deep in the left corner. Pins it up against the boards. Out it comes, and here are the Blues. Pass does not connect. Rycroft heads to the bench as the Blues go for a line change, and the Rangers try to take advantage of that. Kondratchev back behind the goal, being harassed there. Leaves it to Kasparaitis. The left wing boards it comes. Good play there by Kondratchev, working with Kasparaitis. Here's Straka. Feeds Yager. Quick wrister just wide. Lee might have got a piece of it. There's a little oh, on Kasparaitis that with a big hit along the boards. And he knocked down Jamal Mayers, who's a big kid. A real big guy. Mayers has his number. He's not happy. Back out of the zone or not yet. Sillinger moves in, picks it up in the circle, and a whistle is going to be a penalty. Tripping Third. call to the Blues, and maybe Jamal Mayers. Let's take a look at the Panasonic digital replay. The puck goes up the boards, boom. Kasparitis with a good hit on a big guy in Jamal Mayers, and Mayers was mad. He played the puck, he got hit clean, and lost his balance. Now Mayers comes back, has a stick down on Kasparitis. He didn't like the call. Kasparitis went down and drew the penalty. Panasonic digital replay, ideas for life. Rangers out shooting the Blues 5-1 here in the second. They have a goal from Jason Strudwick and a 2-1 lead. They were outshot in the first period, 12-4. Out hit and out play, but they have the lead. Here with 12-40 remaining. Yager moving in. And he got a little bit of a shot in on Laleen, but he kicked it aside. And back come the Blues. Blues, one of two teams that have not scored a shorthanded goal in the season, the other being Chicago. Doug Waits tied up three Rangers for the moment. Roosevelt comes out with it, though. Now moves it in, draws the defense, gives to Yager along the right wing boards at the point. Pruka trying to set up Nylander back along the boards to Roosevelt out of the point. That gives back to Nylander. Cross ice, it goes to Straka. Trying to set up at the point. Now Yager, top of the Circle with it. Got a man down by the goal line, and it's Nylander. Stepping in, looking for Pruka. Now it's Yager again. 51 seconds left on the man advantage. Nylander moving in. Trying to stuff it home. And gloved out of the zone by the Blues. There was Salvador. Good play by Lalim, taking away the short side, staying up against the goal post. Cody to Yager at the right point. Yager again, setting up shop. Fired a shot in. Lalim got a piece. Yager got a second attempt. It went wide. Pody sets up, rips one, high and wide. Now Straka along the boards. And the Blues able to clear it out with 23 seconds on the Ranger power play. Pody's back with it. The Rangers change up, tooting in. On the rush. Pody leaves it at the point for Tootin. I try to get it back, but it's intercepted there by Barrett Jackman and sent out of the zone. That'll do it. With five seconds and counting remaining in the power Very play. Very important kill for the Blues. Yager stays on. And here's Yager moving it up through neutral ice. Betts got hooked. It'll be icing. And oh. as they touch it up, and did they? Barrett Jackman, I guess, got a piece of it. Or Dennis Weidman, rather. It'll be offside with 10.57 left. You know, I was talking to Yager the, the other day. With all the Czech players, there's six of them on this team. They love soccer, these guys. A lot of them play soccer prior to games to loosen up. Well, the World Cup's coming up, but guess who's in the same division? Hey, the Czechs, the, the USA. U.S., Ghana, and Italy. Here's Jager on the puck. 
He goes with a screen shot. You see Lalim stay up on his feet, tighten everything up, make a pretty good save through the screen. But they are some excited group talking about soccer for the World Cup. The Czechs are ranked number two in the world behind Brazil. You start talking, you know, you fake like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> but they do know what they're talking about. Yes, they do. And for Bruce Arena and for the U.S. team, go get them. That'll be fun to watch. Well, Yager uh, claims that they're about three hours away from that where that's going to be played when he's at the Olympics. And he's thinking about driving down. Moving in, Kachuk backhand. Oh, he set a man up right on the doorstep. Yeah. Rice Salvador, but the Rangers broke it up. Uh, Kudrachev was right there. Had a stick down and didn't allow McCammon's stick to get to the puck. Kachuk now sends it over to Dean McCammon, who was one of their goal penalty. scorers. He's got nine on the year, and there's a penalty here. Tripping call. Sorry I didn't see it. I think it's against the Rangers. And it looks like Betts is going to be heading uh, into the box. Yeah, I think you're right. It is. It's Blair Betts going to the box. So the Blues have just killed off a penalty of their own. And now have a power play to work with in a 2-1 Rangers lead. 10-19 to go in the second period for Tom Rennie's team. Yesterday, the Rangers didn't practice. They traveled from Nashville, but had a workout off the ice at a gym, a good workout. This morning, did practice here and head home after the game tonight. So the Blues with the man advantage. Here's Sillinger with it at the left point. Cross ice, it goes. Rangers trying to set up their defense. Moore, Ortmeier, Kondratchev, Kasparitis. They work it back and forth. And now Good down battle. along the goal Ooh. line. Sillinger and Strudwick, what a battle. Kondratchev there. Oh, Ken Weeks made a great kick save. It's not out, though. And another shot. He might have got a skate on that one. That came off the stick of Dennis Weidman. Picked up by Sillinger along the near side boards. Sillinger holding. Being harassed there by Ortmeier. Over to Weidman. They work it back to the right point. Well, five left in the man advantage. Oh! Weidman, a cylinder, had a good look at it, but he fired it high and wide. Back again to Weidman, and he misses. He just couldn't cue it up. Yeah, best chance to Sillinger, who missed the net. Oh, oh turnover. Weeks made a great save. Oh, how about Weeks on Sillinger? Well, how about the turnover with Weidman making the play? Brilliant play, knocking the puck, I think, off of Ortmeier's stick. 40 seconds left in the man advantage. Dominic Moore can't control the puck. Here's Kachuk behind the net with it. Kasparatis and Kondratchev setting up on the post there. Now moving into the circle, back out to the point it comes to Weinrich. Playing catch there. Now Kachuk fired it and it went just wide. Right. Weeks might have got yes. a piece. Yes. Weinrich with it again. Can't set it up, being harassed there by Moore. This one cross ice and they couldn't connect. Well, Blues with two men in front. Goal time hockey. Dennis Weidman, and they've got control of this thing. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Six, Weidman fires it wide. Well, the Blues can't shoot straight. And Moore finally clears it out. And up along the left wing he comes, and the Rangers have killed it off with 8.15 left here in the second. So Strudwick was back, killing the penalty. Had a great battle in front of the net. Now he's up playing left wing. That's cross Ooh. ice, intercepted by Waite. Waite tried to center, but a nice play there to break it up. Michael Roosevelt, and he sends Ward off down the right wing. Ward chips it ahead. 7.50 left in the second. 2-1 Rangers. Here at the Sabah Center. On the board, Straka tried to keep it in. He does get control of it. Resets, gives to Roosevelt. And the Blues fans starting to get into it here. Starting to feel that their team has gained some momentum after that power play. Strudwick has it, though, and backhands it out of the zone. Throws the ball, intercepts, and he sends it into the blue zone. Uh, one gigantic save by Kevin Weeks on the penalty kill. Some good work in front of the net by the Rangers defenseman. 2-1 Rangers. Here's a look at the Panasonic digital replay. Wertmeyer has the puck. And there's the battle. Kudrachev, oh, he's the player that lost the puck. And a big save by Weeks. Panasonic digital replay ideas for life. The Rangers are fourth in the league in goaltending with a tandem of Hendrik Lundqvist and Kevin Weeks. This is his first appearance in 16 days, Weeks. He's been sharp. Yes. Ottawa, Minnesota, and Calgary. The three teams with a better goals against average than the Rangers. It's been a very strong part of the Rangers game. The goals against and the penalty kill. Yes, it has. Earlier today, Philadelphia beat Minnesota 3-2. Rangers aware of that. And the L.A. Kings beat Florida 
Alders have come back to lead Edmonton 2-1. Turn over neutral ice. Rachinski rides me right for this one. And Lalim made the save. After Rachinski scored that first goal, Lalim has to be a little leery of the puck coming off Rachinski's stick. Here's Tootin with it. Ahead to Pody. And they play catch and Tootin through center ice. Up to Yager. Across the blue line. Stick handles. Moves in. Fires a shot. Wide right. Boy, he hits the net there. It probably was a red light. Here's Straka. Right along the faceoff circle to Yager with that long reach. Yager keeps the man off him. Trying to move in. He's working on Bryce Salvador. Salvador. Remember Salvador knocked him down earlier in the game. Has passed a pony. Just flipped the wrister in there. And it's gloved by Laline. Six minutes to go in the second. Rangers lead 2-1. Let's take a look at that save as Kondratyev had the puck knocked off his stick there. That was a save by Kevin Weeks, a big important save. We talked about some of the battles in front. That's Kondratyev working with Sillinger. I may have said it was Strudwick. That was Kondratyev that really got into a battle, and that helped Weeks see that point shot from Doug Waite. Rangers win that face off. They lost 11 of the 15 in the first period, better in the second period. Nylander got knocked off his skates. I think sometimes Mike with face offs, and it was one sided. But when the other team's on the power play, which St. Louis was a lot during the first period, they should win draws. Yeah, good point. Nylander, another penalty, this time offensive zone. And he goes. He was battling in the offensive zone, but he takes the minor. So St. Louis Sixth. is doing everything but finishing. Sixth time the Rangers have been in the penalty box in this game. With 5.36 left in the second. The, the penalty kill, I mean, when the Rangers were in Chicago, they gave up a power play goal. Chicago was one for five. It was a game winner, it was in overtime, four on three. But in Nashville, the Rangers were shorthanded five times in the first period, and only three the rest of the way. And you can't use your left hand like that. Nylander took his left hand off the stick, that's without question a penalty, and it's in behind the other team's net. That's not helpful for the Rangers. So, and what's St. Louis, one for zero for five? One for six. Or one, for, one for six. And they've had eight yeah. shots. One for six. Power play came from Kachuk in yeah, the right. first I'm period. Sorry. Yes, the one goal. So. One for six, so on the trip so far, two for 19 the opposition on this three-game road trip. And we talked to Jed Ortmeier before the game about that. Now that does lift the team up. They continue to play this way, short-handed. But they're putting themselves in precarious situations. Maybe a little too often. Not to the point, Weinrich works there. Well, Weinrich's getting some real good time on the power play. And holding and getting a wrister, and a goal! Doug Wade looked for a spot, found the spot, and we're tied at two. And that'll be two assists for Weinrich. Weinrich moved the puck to Wade. They play give and go here. And Wade just used a wrist shot. Now, did it hit somebody? I don't know. All I know is there's a lot of traffic with Kachuk in front and Roosevelt in front. There's a big bodies. And there's no way Kevin Weeks can see the puck. Now, I don't know if somebody touched it or not. But I know Wade put it into a perfect position. If it's his goal, it's his goal. If not, he allowed somebody to deflect it. And if anybody did, it would have been Keith Kachuk again, who was there. Man, alive. Finally, you know, you take a holding penalty behind the other team's net. It's going to catch up, and it's starting to catch up here. So Don Waddell looking on, and another penalty coming against the Rangers. Ortmeier nails Jackman. And Jackman's down. And that means Ortmeier's out. So the Blues, who tie it up here in the final five minutes of the second, have a chance to take the lead. High sticking call on Ortmeier, and the way Jackman got up, they were checking him out. It's over on the right side here. Oh man, he lifted, he went to lift a stick up and missed and grazed the guy's face. That's Jackman. Watch the stick come up by Ortmeier. Wow, right off the nose. That's lucky it didn't create more damage and it would have been a double minor. So Betts, Toot, Jason Ward, Tom Podion to try to kill this one off. As the Rangers 2-1 lead has turned into a tie game. Rangers had a 2-1 lead, went on the power play, couldn't score, and then have taken some bad penalties. And that time Ward, who leads the Rangers in takeaways, nearly picked the pocket of Doug Waite. That could have been a breakaway there. Retreating back, though, with it. Kevin Dahlman, the defenseman. Dahlman picked up on waivers from the Bruins earlier this year. Here's Kachuk. 
Trying to skate through the range of defense. Picked up there on a shot. Weeks had to make a play on it. As Dahlman fired one through the screen and Weeks stood in there. Yeah, the Blues is always traffic in there. And it's not just one player, it's two. And Kachuk is always one of the two. <laughs> it's almost, I mean, it's almost automatic. As soon as Dahlman got the puck, he saw traffic. He said, why not shoot it? And so there's two Blues there. And Kevin Weeks does a nice job holding on to the puck with two Blues standing there trying to look for a little black disc that they can knock in. But the puck was grabbed nicely by Kevin Weeks. Kasparaitis kind of got away with one there. Took the player down, no call. Back out to the point it comes. As they set up, Kachuk now away from the net. At the point for the moment, Wait works it down low, gets it back at the left point, being harassed there by Rachinsky. Kondratchev gets possession of it, and he clears it out. When Keith Kachuk plays like this, he's like a world-class talent. He goes to the bench for a change now. He plays like that. He's a world-class talent, Mike. And, uh, you know, you got to wonder, it took one of those major assets for the Blues in the process of being sold. Will he be around? He makes him a $7.5 million. Uh, no, next year is 3.8, I think it is, and it's a team option, not his. Team option. That'll be the last year of his contract. So Sillinger trying to backhand it, and another know. penalty call. This one's on Roosevelt. Laleem is out of the net. The delay, and the Rangers get possession. So it's going to be okay. five on three for 16 seconds. And it's Merrick Malik who's going to goal. Malik goes. There's 16 seconds to go on the Ortmeier minor. So the Rangers having to kill the penalty with a real good penalty killer. Ortmeier already in the box. And there's the stick holding up and slowing down. Ryan Johnson as he was driving to the net. Malik used the stick. Well, I'm sorry. That's not Ryan Johnson. My apologies. That was Lee Stepniak. Not Johnson, so Stepniak draws the penalty. Big face off here. Two man advantage for 16 seconds. And Betts does win it back to two. Wraps it around the boards, but not out. Weinrich kept it in. Nice play by Weinrich. Not Kachuk in the corner. Trying to set something up. Far side boards. Wake cross to Cylinder. Oh, and a kick save and a nice one by Weeks. Oh, there or was. Dahlman, rather. Two seconds left on the minor to Ortmeier. And Weeks got across. The shot was taken off the pass. This is a brilliant save. Doug Waite, beautiful pass, great shot. And I think that went off the right arm of the goaltender, Weeks. Let's take a look at it. The truck's there. Maybe even the handle of, well, now they're trying to figure out. Did that hit the handle of the goal stick or did it go off the crossbar? If it hit the, if it hit the goal stick, it stays inside. They're discussing it now. and They're saying it hit goal stick. Look at the handle. Yeah, it hit the handle but did of it the hit goal the post stick. After Doesn't that. matter. It Doesn't still matter. was a Ranger property before it hit the goal post. So they got that figured out. And the faceoff stays inside with one second to go on Ortmeier's penalty. Key faceoff won by the Blues. Back out to the point. Weinrich tees it up, shoots it in. Might have got all the way through. Kachuk was set up there. Weeks made the save. So it's five on four for the next minute, 34. Another shot and a save by Weeks. Kevin Dolman getting in the act offensively. Wait deep in the corner now along the far side boards. Top of the circle. Looking for Cylinder in the slot. Back to the point. Weinrich gets it back. Cody stepping in. Ortmeier's out there. Top of the circle again. And wow. a chip pass, but it bounced over the stick of Dolman. A nice pass by Doug Waite, wasn't it? It was. Weinrich has it back. And now cross ice it goes to, from Cylinder. Waite set it up, didn't shoot it. Weinrich does. Cross to Dolman and a nice stick check that time. A poke check by Pody. They clear the zone, and 50 Pody's, seconds. Pody's tired, he was leaning on his stick and still is, he can't get to the bench for a change. But a turnover by the Blues in neutral ice. Pody has it, skates in. Now rags it back to neutral ice and, and just flips it up. A couple of good plays by Pody, one inside his line and then one in the neutral zone. Now he gets a chance to change. Good plays by Tom Pody. He has played well over these last 25 games, plus or even 22 times and a good shift there. 23 seconds left, and the man advantage of the Blues, 127 left in the second. Ruchinski's on. Kondrachev, Kasparaitis. For the Rangers, along with Steve Ruchin. Hooks it out to the point, and it's loose. Back to the Blues zone. Two seconds left, and the man advantage is Ruchinski gives chase. They turn it over. Yager to Ruchinski. Shoots. Oh, he hit the post. Yager.
with a rebound and he couldn't get it on goal. What a shot by Ruchinski. Goal post crossbar. Man. What a turnaround that might have been for the Rangers who are tied at two. Malik gives it up in the corner. It's Ryan Johnson trying to center. Weeks had to kick that aside. Now Mayer's shot. High in the air. And the Rangers finally come up with a Yager along the right wing, but he won't catch it up. And as Yager looks to make a line change, but can't get off ice. Intercepted by the Blues. And a shot. Weeks had to make a good save. And he did. Trying to hold on, but can't do it. Kudrachev have lost the puck, and the Blues turned it into a real good shot on goal. And Kevin Weeks, another good period for the Rangers. Blues able to clear it up to neutralize. Kachuk has the puck. Crosses left to right, tries to tee it up, gets it back. Now tries to feed his teammate. Yager, oh, he had a man on a breakout of Straka, but couldn't get it to him. And that would end the period. Well, the Rangers started to carry the play, and then the Blues took advantage of some flow by getting their flow because of the Rangers taking some bad penalties. Then the Blues started to carry the play, and all of a sudden, Ruchinski finds the puck and almost puts the Rangers back into the lead. Yager with a little pass to Ruchinsky who snapped it right oh. off the goal post and crossbar and then Yager couldn't finish on the rebound. Now here's here's the Rangers again. They're going to get the puck. It's Kudrachev. He can't get the puck over the line. And away go the Blues and that was another good save through traffic. It was Jeff Hogman who made the play. Kevin Weeks had lots of work. In fact, he's had 21 shots with a lot of traffic around the net. Now the Rangers with nine shots on goal. And the Blues with nine shots on goal in the second. We're tied at two. John Giannone standing by with Rangers assistant Perry Pern. All right, Mike, thanks. Perry, I would imagine that this is a gray hair, agita kind of thing when you see all those penalties. Well, we're taking too many. You can't take as many as we have. And uh, the one that really hurt us was the one we took in the offensive zone. And you can't, you can't be doing that. And we've, most nights are a little better than that and more disciplined. And tonight we're a little bit off. Beyond the message of the penalties, what do you tell your team heading into the third? Well, I think the the penalties are a symptom of what's bugging us all night long, and that's that we're not working hard enough. And uh, you know, we win games because we skate and we work. And uh, tonight, we're we're not pushing ourselves as hard as we can. Third period, we got to go out and work. It's an even game. We win the third period. We win a hockey game. Harry, thanks. Thank you. Hard work has not been a problem for the Rangers this year, guys. All right, John. Thanks to John Genome. Harry Pern. We'll be back. Second intermission activities coming up from St. Louis. We're tied at two. Back here at the Savas Center in St. Louis, tonight's trivia brought to you by Nissan. Name the four defensemen to win the Norris Trophy while winning a wearing number two. Now, we have to have two of these, John, Yep. to earn the points. John Giannone, of course, ice side, and John Davidson right here. I'm Mike Crispino, and I'm saying Brian Leach and Al McGinnis. Those are my two guesses. Okay. okay. Go ahead, John. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Doug Harvey as another one, and I'm going to throw a flyer on Pierre Pallott. Pierre Blunt, Chicago Blackhawks. What a great pick. I'm going Al McKinnis, Brian Leach, and Doug Harvey. I don't know who the other fourth, the fourth one is. I can't think of it. Uh, it is Jacques Leach. LaPierre. Whoa. Jacques LaPierre, yeah, yeah, the Montreal Canadiens. Boy, I, I forgot about that. And Jacques is the assistant coach with the uh, New Jersey Devils on the bench, changing their defenseman. Al McKinnis works for the organization here in St. Louis, retired because of an eye injury. Brian Leach, of course, playing in Boston. Doug wow. Harvey has his uh, yeah. banner up here, Hall uh, of Fame. Doug Harvey played very well in St. Louis, but most of his great years were in Montreal. And this is Mark Messier's Skyway for tomorrow's. And that opened last night, tomorrow's children, of course. The Messier family have done a wonderful job. Look at all his memorabilia is going in there. There's the family with the nephews and nieces. Congratulations to Mark and his family. Look at that, Mike Richter, Adam Graves, amongst others, there at the event. Coming here in 91, getting involved in this charity. There was a lot of uh, people pulling at us from a lot of different directions to get on board. Mary Kay and uh, Paul had come here with me in 91 to help me out off the ice. But, uh, every little bit makes a difference and uh, to everybody that volunteered and made their time there, I really want to thank you. So about Mark, that. Mark Messier at the Hackensack Medical Center and the walkway. It's a marvelous job by Mark and his family. 
Don Imus and his wife Deidre, and amongst many others, have, have done a wonderful job there. But for Mark and his family, all Mark's memorabilia has gone in there. For the kids, it's going to make their lives a whole lot better. Congratulations for that. And that's a lot of work that went into that. It, it, when you see the people that have supported the Messier family, you see the tears on Mark, you know how much it meant to him. Yeah, you think some tears will be Boy. flowing in, in January when January Messier's 12. jersey goes up? January oh, 12th. Oh, man. It's going to be hard to control the emotions that night. Big night at the Garden on the 12th of January with Mark Messier. As the Rangers 2-2 tie just underway first minute, first minute of the third. Yager with it, losing into the zone. And Yager taken down. It's Salvador again. He's played a lot, a lot against Yager. Salvador is a good skater and he's really strong. The Rangers trying to come up with a loose puck. It's Yager along with Straka. Chinsky who has a goal in this one, and that puck ends up in the stands. No Faceoff penalty. will be. It was deflected. In the blue zone, Yager's making an argument about it. A sprint summary gets you caught up on what we've seen in the second period. Jason Strudwick, second of the year, off of Pody Rister. Ruchin got an assist as well. Keith Kachuk on the power play at 15-01. Wait and Weinrich, who've had good games as well. 21-13, the shots on goal. There's a whole lot of Bryce Salvador, number 27. He's a left defenseman. Yager's a right winger. And there's Salvador moving across. And he just meets him in chest on chest. There you see the, the power there. Now, is there a penalty? And the box is open. And the, the gate's blue? open. Blues have a penalty. Now, when the puck went into the stands, one referee I saw indicate with his two hands that there was a deflection. He was kind of snapping his two hands together. But Pops, the defenseman, is going to the box. So now they're saying there was no deflection. The puck went directly into the stands. You see a very perplexed look on the face of head coach Mike Kitchen. Try to figure this out. There's Pops. Yeah, I guess they're saying it didn't. Well, the Rangers have the man advantage here. Second minute of play in the third period. Steve Ruchin, Cody out at the point, banks it up the boards, and that is deflected out. The faceoff will stay in the offensive zone. Another power play where the second unit starts for the Rangers, not the number one power play unit. Rangers 0 for 3 in the game. They were 0 for 8 in Nashville, 1 for 5. Correction, 0 for 4 in Nashville and 0 for 9 in Chicago. So the Rangers power play. Here we have a 2-2 game. Earlier in the season, the power play would come through. They, they need to uh, rekindle the power play again. And here's Fetter Tootin with it. Hosa, Nylander, Cody. Tootin rips it around the boards. Comes out on a strange angle to Tootin. Gives it up to Nylander at the point. Now it's Pody. Pody's wrist are knocked down by the defense. Kevin Dahlman had a big second period with four shots. Had six shots on goal in the game. Nylander out at the left point. Regains control. Nifty stick handling there. Trying to move in, look for a shot. Can't find it. Back behind the boards. 112 on the man advantage for the Rangers. And it's taken away from them. And set down ice by Dennis Weidman, the rookie. So that second power play goal to St. Louis went to Keith Kachuk. Huh? So he's got the two goals. Yeah, we thought it was weight, but yeah. it's Kachuk. And that would be uh, Kachuk's seventh of the year. So if you're scoring at home, the Rangers power play goal leaders brought to you by United Rentals. When your team needs a power play, call United Rentals. Peter Pruka's got six. Michael Lee landed three and Yager leading the way with 11. Well, how about on Keith, the Keith Kachuk has two power play goals in this game. He's probably been the St. Louis Blues best forward, but you know he's minus two at even strength. So the numbers sometimes just don't make sense, do they, with a plus minus? Plus minus, the Blues only have two players who are plus Kevin Dahlman and Lee Stepniak, everyone else minus players, and a team that's won five games out of 25. You expect that. Here's Pruka. Quick 360 turn, now looking for somebody to deal it to. Gives it to Straka, now cross ice. Nice pass to Roosevelt. Banks it up to Yager. Yager being pressured right there by Waite, and it's sent out of the zone. Well, Yager had the puck, but he was facing the boards. Waite shoved him a bit, and Salvador got the puck and out of the zone. There's 10 seconds to go now. And time running out of the man advantage. 17-10 left in the game. 2-2 tie. Straka picks it up at the point. Skates it over to Roosevelt. Quick shot. Screaming high over the crossbar. And picked up by the Blues. Not cleared out, though. Rangers trying to regain. It's Pruka. Unable to come up with it. And the power play over for the Rangers. And this is Dennis Weidman with it. Weidman skates it through neutral ice. Just 
wrists it down behind Kevin Weeks. Giving chase, Roosevelt there mixing up with Jay McClement. And Roosevelt comes up with a Kruka. Centers takes a hit from Jeff Hogan. And now Betts gives it a run. Clement's only had six shifts through the first two periods, so he's got lots of energy. No doubt about it. That one whipped around the boards and uh, takes a strange bounce, but Kondrachev came up with it. He's had a good game tonight. Strudwick had to tip it ahead. Weinrich, who's played well. Weinrich, 38 years old in his 17th season in the National yeah, Hockey he's League. He's a good pro. Real good pro. Oh, big hit there. Kasparaitis banging into Jeff Hogan. Kasper can't come up with the puck. Kondrachev into support, and now it's in the stick of Strudwick who has a goal tonight. And a couple of blues changing. Rangers should be able to get out of the zone. Mayors with a good hit on Kasparaitis. They had a battle earlier in the game. Here's Max Kondrachev. He's coming back into the lineup after not dressing the last two games. A turnover there, but the Rangers can't come up with it. The puck skipped over Rooch and Stick. There's Jackman with the turnover. He's trying to find his game like he had two seasons ago. Last season played a little bit in the East Coast League, coming back from shoulder surgery. He should be better than what he's playing. 17th overall pick in 1999. Quick move and a shot. Weeks got the glove up. Might have got a little piece of it. That was Dean McCammon. He's got nine goals on the season to lead the way for St. Louis. Puck cleared to center. Dominic Moore. Cross ice. Ruchin picks up the bouncer. Backhands it into the Blues bench. Faceoff will come at neutral ice. Boy, McCammon showed some terrific speed as he darted in to the forehand side and went back the other way with a shot but missed the net on the play. Gasparitis this time got hit. That was Mayer's good hard solid hit, hip on hip. This was Gasparitis himself with a body check and he's taking the, taking the body in this game way more than most of the players in white have been doing. Gasparitis leading the way and hits for the Rangers so far in this one. Leads the team and hits. The puck cleared up to center. Here come the Blues. Two on two. McCammon with weight. Weight finds him. McCammon moves in. Backhands it. Off oh, the ball. Oh, oh close. And we have a penalty upcoming against the Rangers. The goal hit the puck at the goal post. Doug Waite's pass was brilliant. And I think it was to McCammon. Brilliant that the puck hit the goal post on the near side before Wade, before the goaltender could hang on to. What a pass that was. McCammon's in, backhander, and you see a nice play where the goaltender, Kevin Weeks, just held the puck and didn't panic. Great play by McCammon off a gorgeous pass from Doug Wade. And when that was happening, Roosevelt was taking a penalty for high sticking. He held his man up, but he had a stick right up in the guy's face. So here we go. 2-2, 14-40 to go in the third. And the Blues are going for the hat trick with power play goals. They have two. Well, the Rangers trying to kill off their 10th penalty of the night. They've given up two on the first nine attempts by the Blues. Their power play has not been overly fancy. It's been bodies in front and shots from the blue line. Kind of what Tom Rennie's trying to get his team to do more of. Uh-oh, well, right on top of the doorstep, McCammon's backhander was stopped by Weeks. McCammon's had three scoring chances in the last minute. That ends up on the screen. Right? Yes, he has. McCammon. That one, the goal post, and that wrist shot that missed high on the catching glove. So that's three chances in one minute for the guy. He's not been able to finish. Ganache moves it in front. There's McCammon all alone, and good save. Kevin Weeks with a good save. Reverse angle, look at it. Kevin Weeks goes across and covers up nicely. And now St. Louis... Puts their big boys, including number seven, on the ice. And McCammon is eighth in the league in shooting percentage. So he's a guy that finds the net, but he's been stopped three straight times here. 14.05 left in the third period. A 2-2 tie. Wrapped around the boards. Tootin gives chase. Picked up there. A nice pass from Sillinger to from Kachuk to Sillinger. They play catch. It's wrapped around the boards and not in, kept, not kept in. Having to give chase. Dennis Weidman. 105 left in the power play for St. Louis. 2-2 tie. Rangers head home after this. They have Vancouver to begin next week in a four-game homestand. Right now second in the East, just a point behind Ottawa. 
Wade giving chase. Chasing it. Another penalty coming up to the Rangers. It's on Rachinski. And now we're going to have five on three for 43 seconds. You think the Rangers are having a little problem? And it could even get worse as Doug Waite moved in. And it's going to be Ruchinski on the penalty. Ruchinski's right in there. And I think he had one end of his stick sticking out, the top end of his stick, and he held up the Blues four checker. The, and the, the Blues, since they had their best players on the ice, Kachuk and Waite and others, they've called a timeout to try to get ready for a 43 second five on three. And you see Keith Kachuk sitting on the boards having a skate repaired. That's Perry Pern who runs the penalty killing unit for the Rangers. He studies the other team's power play and he'll tell them what to expect with this five on three coming at them. Well, fill your heart with Christmas at the Radio City Christmas Spectacular featuring the world famous Rockettes. You won't want to miss the dazzling new opening scene. For tickets, log on to RadioCity.com or call Ticketmaster at 212-307. 1,000. Great show running in New York at Radio City. Just the season, isn't it? It and certainly Keith is. Kachuk hopes he finds his third one in this game. He already has two. Dominic Moore takes the draw. Ortmeier's on the bench. Moore is a centerman, so he can try to win the draw against Keith Kachuk. Kachuk, by the way, face-off wise, really hot in this game. And the Blues can't get in control, but they finally do. It's Simone Gamash. Back out of the point it goes. Wait. Cross ice to Weidman. Wait gets it back. Looks to wrist it. No. Gets it right on Weeks. He made a save. It hit the post. Weeks grabs it. And I think he stopped it. Yeah, he Oh, he got a little help. It. He held on to it, but the puck definitely on the rebound. Went up high by the crossbar in the goal post. Kachuk was 5-1 on faceoffs through two periods. You're going to see the play develop here. Wrist shot, slap shot, and it was Kachuk's rebound that hit the crossbar and goal post. Kachuk was on his way down. Number seven blue, he's on his way down, and he gets a backhander that's brilliant. That's a great play by him. Just to find the puck and get velocity on the way down, and wow, look at that, off the goal post. And Pony Man. dove in there to try to make a save if he had to. Behind week, so 20 seconds ticked off that five on three. Still 23 seconds to kill Simone Gamash. Rangers came up with for the moment. Malik couldn't clear it out. Back out to the left point. It's Waite. Cross ice. Weidman stepping in, doesn't shoot it. Gives it back to Waite. Wait at the top of the circle. Now Weidman. He's not going to shoot it. They hold on. Five seconds. They center. Kachuk couldn't get a piece. Gamash tried to find him. Now Weidman, cross ice. Oh, Weeks stepped across and made the save on the shot by Sillinger. It's now five on four. Brilliant save. 105 left wow. in the man advantage. Brilliant save. Kachuk, goal post, a pass in front that Kachuk couldn't finish, and then a brilliant save on Sillinger. Weeks steps in, gets a Sillinger. Weidman won't shoot it. He's there with it, and backs it up. Starts it again, gives back to Kachuk, who's standing at the right point, top of the circle. Looking for an opening. Along the <laughs> along the goal line, and Weeks got a yeah. shoulder on it up into the screen. It's a great shot. That was a great shot by Gamash, and Weeks went up against the goal post with his body, and it went off his elbow. Look at this play. Weeks gets across and takes it up oh. off the shoulder. Sillinger, he shot the puck high like he should. Look at this pass by Ganache. Oh, Keith the Chuck just missed the play. Great goaltending, great penalty killing, saving the Rangers. They've been shot 25-13, and it's still a power play for 46 seconds. 12.08 left in the third. The face off, Strudwick got possession of it. Ortmeier tried to clear, now he does, all the way down ice. 38 you know, you seconds see, and counting. Keith the Chuck play like this. Remember, he didn't start the season because he came to camp. He was so much overweight that they couldn't play it. Then he came back twice once he got into some kind of playing shape and was injured twice. Once nice. a groin and then once a fractured rib. His eighth game of the year, yeah. that's it. The cross ice to Kachuk. But that time he couldn't get a good piece of it and Weeks was able to stop it. Weeks and whoever there is down, that's the Strudwick. As they fall on it, now Kachuk heads off for a player change with 13 seconds to go on the penalty. And that's good news for the Rangers when Kachuk goes off the ice. That's how good he's been. Here's the play across. Kachuk can't get a clean shot. 
And then Strudwick fired the puck back to to Weeks, who was able to hold on. Strudwick has had some valuable minutes. Look at Kachuk take the hit. And that's a big man that nailed him. Shot came from the point. Weeks got a piece. A man down in the crease. Simone Gamash couldn't get a good piece of it. Rosaval tried to get it out to Yager. They still can't clear it out. Back out to the point it comes to Dennis Weidman. Along the near side board, Sillinger. Penalty's over. Chinsky back on ice. Sillinger tied up along the near side boards with Marek Malik. And Malik trying to find somewhere to clear it out. And he does find Rosaval. And the Rangers escape. A five on three, then a five on four. And we're still tied at two. Gamash up the right wing. Holds, try to set up a teammate. Does find him. Shot taken in by Stepniak. And a save made by Weeks. Malik has the puck underneath him, trying to get control of it. Can't do it. Rosaval has it. Well, his blues are working. Rangers need to find a way to get the puck deep. Rachinsky on the rush with Straka now. Leaves for Straka. Straka moves in top of the circle. Feeds back to Rachinsky. Hits the referee. Rachinsky gets it back. He's got Yager sitting there. Yager trying to wrist it. Lalee made the stop. And it went in. It went off him. It went off Lalee, and it fell into the net. The Rangers lead 3-2. Yager. We'll get credit for the goal. It was his wrist shot, his 23rd of the season. The puck hit the blocker, right arm of Laleen, went straight up in the air and went back in over the goal line. Now you're gonna see the referee get in the way here, but the Rangers kept going. Yager's in front of the net. Now he wants to get open. He finds open space, uses a screen, and the puck barely goes over the line. Rangers lead 3-2. Good play by Ruchinski, who's in on the play, as was Straka. And when you're a goal scorer, you get plays like this. The lead moved out. The puck hits him up high. Look at it. It just floats through the air. It almost stopped in time. And it jumps on the goal line and slides over. 3-2 oh. Rangers after some kind of penalty kill. And Bryce Salvador had a chance maybe to, to pull it out of there, but he couldn't quite get there in time as Lalim gives up the third Ranger goal after the Rangers were under such tremendous pressure. They're up 3-2 on Yager's 23rd. Oh. Kruka get nailed. Man, did he get hit by Hogan. Helmet gone for Kruka. He heads back to the bench. Blues have it. Ahead to Rycroft, skating in neutral ice. Intercepted there by Ruchin. 9.54 left. The Rangers three, the Blues two. Blues. Watch the hit by Jeff Hogan right into Pruka. He leaves his feet. He nails his head into the glass. Look at that. I mean, that's he's headhunting on the play. You have referees in this game that are calling the tiniest little hooks. They're doing their job with that. Meanwhile, you can run a guy, leave your feet, run his head into the glass and boards and not take a, and not be given a penalty. And it no doesn't whistle. make sense to me. Call a little trips, call a little hooks, but let them run at a guy's head. Makes no sense. And just turn it over, and here comes Doug Wade, but back the other way, Ruchin, along with Dominic Moore. And Pruka survived that. Helmet came flying off right in the face, head against the glass, and that puck ends up in the crowd. And into the and netting might, at first. Let's see. We might have a penalty here on this. You're right. Delay of game. Jackman put the puck over the glass. Good call, Mike. Right into the netting. So it's a delay of game penalty call, and the Rangers have a power play with a one-goal lead here. 9.37 to go in the third period. Puck goes into the netting, it's a, it's a black and white call. If it's into the netting in your own defensive zone, not hitting anybody, it's an automatic penalty. And right into the netting went the puck, so the referees make the call. Straka just had the assist on Yager's goal. His 25th assist this season, he's sixth in the league in that category. Is on for the bad advantage and an interception there off a poor pass by Ruchinski. Here come the Blues shorthanded. And a move and a shot and a goal! A two-on-one move. It's Rycroft. Mark Rycroft ties this thing up at three with 9.17 remaining. You're going to see a pass right there by Ruchinski that's picked off by Rycroft. And now he just takes off with speed. Flat out speed and takes a pass back from Ryan Johnson. And then he hits the side of the net with a beautiful shot. First shorthanded goal of the season for St. Louis. Look at, look at him go. Rycroft right down the middle, got away from Roosevelt. Straka was back. He went over to the puck side. Two Rangers to the puck side. Straka had no business going across there. And next thing you know, it's 3-3, a shorthanded goal, a huge goal for the Blues. Rycroft and Johnson got together. 
Johnson set him up beautifully. So the Rangers still have the power. Lucas on with Malik, Ruchinski, Yager, and Rosemal on the point. Yager keeps it alive along the course. Nice work there. Rangers need a power play goal just to break even on the play. Malik tried to wrist it one timer, and the Blues able to clear it out. The specialty teams not kind to the Rangers so far in this one. And the crowd into it. Yager across the blue line, leads for Kruka. Gives back to Yager along the goal line. Trying to set up, spins around, fires it wide. Puka was there waiting for a rebound. Malik on the near side boards, Puka. 360s back to Malik. Cross ice rolls the ball. Now Yager along the far side boards. Outside the circle, looking for Malik. An all check power play. Malik, he deflected it in on Leem. A good play by Marek Malik, but Laleem made the save. All check power play for the New York Rangers. As far as Europeans go, the St. Louis Blues don't have one European in their lineup for this game. There's the pass in front. Malik had dropped down from the blue line. He did get a nice little deflection, but Laleem was able to make the save and hang on. Yeah, good deflection by Malik up high into the goaltender. So two power play goals for St. Louis, plus a shorthanded goal in this game. Face-off won by the Rangers. It's tooting at the left point now. Tried to go across ice, deflected out of the zone by Sillinger. And the Ranger power play, less than 30 seconds to go. Putin blasts it around the boards. Wraps it there, Ruchin couldn't get control of it, and the Blues have it. They clear it out. We're all tied at three. All specialty team goals for the Blues. And the Rangers with three even strength goals. Tootin takes a hit along the near side board. Jamal Mayers, Blues have the puck again, and they can't clear it out. Nylander. On the turnover, back to Pony. can't tee it up, and it's cleared out. That was a Sillinger turnover, Rangers couldn't take advantage of it, Jackman's now out of the penalty box, so the Blues having to kill off two minutes, go plus one and tie the game up at three. Now Yager, through center ice, has control, looks for Nylander, finds a backhand wide. Penalty upcoming to St. Louis again. And another penalty will have a power play for the Rangers when we return, we're tied at three. Chuck in the box for hooking. Watch this one. That's like getting a speeding ticket for doing 31 in a 30. That's 31 miles an hour in a 30. Chuck <laughs> skated through, and Keith Kachuk's in the penalty box. All right, Malik, Roosevelt, Ruchinski, Yager, and Ruchin now stationed in front of Patrick Lalleen. Yager deals it. Gets it back from Ruchinski, has to save it along the far side boards. Does keep it, moves in. Gets back to Ruchinski, they play catch with it. Far side boards, Ruchinski on the goal line. Can't get a good piece. Back out to Malik. Cross ice, it goes to Yager. Tees it up, shoots it. Malik jumps up and puts his shoulder on it. Back to Yager, it comes. Again, cross ice, oh, Malik was right there. Puck skipped over his stick and back out of the zone and goes. Malik's been moving around, not just staying back at the blue line, dropping down to try and find open ice. Tom Rennie's talked about using Malik on the power play unit, trying to get him in front of the net, use his size. Here's Ruchinski. Ostraka tied up along the boards. Good defensive work that time by the Blues, but Ruchinski still has it. Ryan Johnson harassing the Rangers there. Now stepping in Straka. To Nylander, now Tootin couldn't get a shot off. Nylander stands there. Cross ice, now intercepted. And out of the zone it comes. Good play by Ryan Johnson. Good penalty killer in this game. Pody flips it into the corner. Giving Chase Pruka, and out of the zone it comes. So, 39 seconds and counting, and the man advantage 550 in the game. We're tied at three. Wheeling up into neutralized Pruka now. Leaves for Nylander. In the slot, it's Tootin back at the point. And a shot does not get through, it's deflected. Straka regains, Puka in the corner. It's back to Straka. On the far side, boards 15 in the man advantage. Straka now into the circle. Puka there, try to center. Does find Straka, shot wide and over the crossbar. Four seconds on the power play and they're putting the, they're putting the face off yeah. out of the zone. Yeah, went up high with no blue player or goaltender touching the puck, so that'll do it. Three seconds to go on the Rangers power play, and with a face-off over the blue line, it'll be even strength in three seconds. And the Rangers 
unable to get the power play going. This was Malik sneaking in. I see what happened. The puck barely deflected off one of the Blues defensemen. I think that were actually maybe even a forward, Dean McCammons maybe. That was him back there. So the Blues have had some night with their specialty teams. I tell you, in a 3-3 game and time running out in the third period. 5-15 remaining to be played in regulation. In the 3-3 tie, Kachuk along the right boards, regains control, trying to set up Dean McCammon, but they break it up. 5.06 left, we're all tied at three. Well, the New York Rangers toy drive at the pond at Ryan Park, Wednesday, December 14th, from 4 to 6 p.m. For more information, NewYorkRangers.com. Come. Ranger players will be there to exchange autographs or unwrap toy donations to benefit the Marine Corps Toys for Tots program. Great. So, That's been a great program every season. Every holiday season comes Christmas and the kids need the toys. Well, the Rangers look great with that. And that's a big day in New York at Bryant Park, December 14th. Puck cleared out. Stepniak has it. Turned over center ice. The Rangers come up with it. Strudwick, who has a goal. Miscues for the moment. Kondrachev has to you know, lift it around the boards. Mike Kachuk had been on the ice for 13 straight goals that the Blues have scored. 13 in a row. And then finally they scored the last five four-handed goal, and he was on the bench watching. There's Strudwick on a takeaway make that, He there. was in the penalty box. That's right. He was in the penalty box for that hook. And the Rangers trying to tie the Blues up in their own zone. But finally, it's flipped into the Rangers zone by Ryan Johnson. And Roosevelt picks it up. And the Rangers go for a line change. Yager in. Avoids the hip check, but the puck taken away. 4.05 left. Kachuk behind the net. Doing battle with Roosevelt. Along the boards, it's Ruchinski skating hard with Straka. Yager follows the play in. The lead for Ruchinski. Now Yager. Being grasped by Pops there. Trying to set a man up in the slot. Rangers keep possession, but out of the zone they come. Ruchinski back the other way. Backhands to Pody. Tries to rip one wide on the slap shot. Ruchinski got hooked outside the blue line. Power play coming up. Rangers. Tootin, his shot on goal. Stopped by Laleen, but the Rangers with 334 left in the game will have the man advantage. Ruchinski grabbed the puck. He was in the neutral zone, and I think it's Sillinger. Uh, I'm not sure. I shouldn't say. Just in case. I'm not sure which player is going. That is Sillinger. He's headed to the box. And Ruchinski draws it. 18 blue. Ruchinski's outside. And he used the stick to lean on his hands. Boy, oh boy. Right there. Just a little bit of a play with a stick. And, well, I guess we've said it all season long. If the stick's parallel with the ice and it goes into the player around the hands of the midsection, it's a penalty. And, Zero tolerance in this game, it's called, and there's been a timeout called, this time by the Rangers, right, I think? Yeah, Rangers call a timeout. Yeah, Tom Rennie. Ruchinski and Yager, and those guys were on the ice. A lot of their power plays in this game, it's been the other unit starting. This time they want to get those guys out there and try to find a way to win this thing, 3-3 with 3.34 to go in the period. Rangers 0 for 6 on the power play in this game. Seven shots, and uh, that unit, whoever's out there, hasn't been able to find the back of the net, and that's been one of the nope. things the Rangers have been wondering about over the last couple of weeks. The Rangers are 0 for 19 on the trip. They have three points in two games in the standings. If they get one here on the power play, there's a good chance they'll win it. And then, you know, five points out of six on the trip. Uh, on a road trip, that's tremendous. So it's a big power play. It is. Because of the score. Ruchinski. Now they try to center Pruka. Pony shot! Oh, oh they got an elbow on Oh, they score! It's Pruka again! Peter Pruka beat Laleem. He's done it again! Number 25 gives the Rangers the lead 4-3. For Peter Pruka, he gets his 13th goal. That's as many as Sidney Crosby has going into tonight's game. What a save right here on Pody. But as the puck is fired to the net, it goes off the defenseman's skate. On the left side of the goaltender, you're going to see the defenseman turn around, turn around. Now the play continues. Now the defenseman's at the net, off the skating in. Malim made a brilliant save right here. He spins around, gets back into position, but the puck goes off of Salvador and over the line. The Rangers lead 4-3 with just over three minutes to go. The power play does come up big when needed, finally. Ruka's got 13 on the season. Ortmeier got blasted at 
neutral ice that time. He's back up on his skates and he gives to Ruchin. Well, Pruk has been saying, Yager tells him, shoot the puck. You never know when you have another chance, and he just did. Well, Sidney Crosby has 13 goals, too, with Pittsburgh, and they won tonight. I don't know as Wartmeyer's shot has stopped. I don't know if Pittsburgh's Sidney Crosby scored. They won 4-3. I haven't seen the, uh, the official score sheet to know if he scored or not. But for Pruka, when it's going in, it's going in. He hasn't played a ton in this game because he doesn't kill penalties. And he gets a go-ahead goal. There's only 2.48 to go now in the third period. Yeah, Pruka through the first two periods about on the ice for nine shifts, six minutes, 18 seconds. But he's a dangerous player. The Rangers and their opponents are finding out. Under three minutes left. Kachuk, or Jackman, fires it down behind Weeks. Kondrachev there, Betts. And Betts able to clear penalty, it out. Penalty, penalty. Another upcoming. penalty coming. To the Blues. And let's see who it's going to be on. Now this is, is Jackman for slashing, I think. Or maybe it's Dean McCammon. No, let's it's, see. it's Jackman for slashing, I believe. Yeah, Jackman's going to the box. Wade is trying to appeal a call. And the referee makes a slashing call. Ward went into him. And Jackman, oh, at the bench. Oh, boy. His stick, it, when he had the collision at the bench, his stick may have been held by a second by one of the Ranger players, and then he, he pulled and whacked, and then he gave another jab. And the referee was standing right there and watched it. You can't jab at players on the bench. He got caught. Even if it's a, even if it's a reaction to a stick being held, you can't react. That, there's action, reaction, and that was reaction at a bad time. Cody's shot was deflected off the skate of Laleem and up into the crowd. Well, the Rangers with a 4-3 lead on the Pruka goal. See, Jackman Ward moves into him here. The stick is in the bench. Up high, up high, up in there. Yeah, and somebody with a bare hand. Was that Ward? Oh, there it he is. He grabbed it, and then two jabs. See, the one jab and then a second. And Ortmeyer grabbed it at first, but then the second jab was what was called by the official. Rangers got away with a hold on the bench, and then Jackman, that's a real bad penalty for him to take by overreacting. Who's able to clear it out? McCammon moving in, and a penalty coming to the Rangers as McCammon was on the rush, and that will make it a four-on-four four for the next minute, 42. This one's a hard one to watch. <laughs> It's a hooking call, Pody's going. There's a stick, it was in the midsection. Zero tolerance in this game. Two Hawkeye referees haven't missed one of those on both teams. Well, the Rangers took three penalties, John, in the first half of this period, and then three in the second half against the Blues. And now this one from Pody makes it four on four. Face off of... Well, any, anybody watching thinking the league is going to step back from the zero tolerance that was instituted. Think again. These guys aren't missing a thing. 19 penalties in this game. We've got some four on four here. One goal Ranger lead. This could be interesting. Kachuk's on the ice. Moore, Ruchin, Roosevelt, and Tootin. Moore intercepts, ends up on top of the crease there. Sillinger couldn't get a good piece of it, but they have control. Back out to Weinrich at the point. Rister knocked down by the Ranger defense. Roosevelt giving chase. Kachuk's headed to the bench with Sillinger. They're going to go to a line change here. Yeah, Sillinger is Kachuk's centerman, but Doug Wake comes on, and you always have to respect him. With four on four, he's such a great playmaker, and McCammon is his winger. He has the puck. McCammon's had a lot of scoring chances here in the third period. Betts, Ward, Kasparitis, Malik on for the Rangers. Final minute 15 of the game. When does the goalie go to the bench? Kasparitis with a check. Broke the play up. Then he bangs it down to the blue zone. Without the stick, it's Weinrich. Ward came up, but then he tried to stuff it in a Laleem. He had to make a save. Going to be a power play. Oh, an interception. Moore comes in on Laleem. Fakes, shoots. Oh, Laleem made a good stop. That could have been the backbreaker right there. Puck shot in on Weeks. Final minute, 48 seconds. Kachuk's on ice. Laleem's gone to the bench. Makes a hit by Kasparitis. Back up in the... Blue zone, Moore giving chase. Power play two in five seconds for about 32 seconds with the goaltender on the bench. And that puck is set down the ice, but just wide of the net. The icing. icing. Oh, Malik had a chance to end it right there, but it went wide. 
And and boy, now, the face off in the range. Now, both zone. teams have used timeouts already, Mike. You only get one per team per game, so they both used it earlier. 27.6 seconds to go in the third period. 4 3 Rangers. Lalim is on the bench, and it's a power play for the next 14 seconds as Pody is in the penalty box. So if the Blues win the draw, it's essentially a six on four. Six on four. Now they put their sixth player on the ice as Johnson moves out. Six on four in the Rangers zone. Now the buzzer sounds from the timekeeper's box as they're trying to get something straightened out. They may put a second back on the clock. I don't know. Maybe the clock ticked too many when the whistle sounded. They're, the timekeepers just received a phone call down there. Uh, the Rangers, did they change a player? That's what it is. The Rangers cannot change a player. Or the Blues... Right, Rangers, now he's sending a Blues player back. Yeah, because they just tried to sneak somebody on the ice. But the Rangers, too, now with the icing call, did they make a change? No, they didn't. McCammon has to go back to the bench. He could not come back on. So, right. 28.6, John. They did put another second oh, on the did. game yeah, clock. They did, yeah. 14 on this power play. It's six on four right now. Huge faceoff. Moore won it back to Kasparitis, but the Blues come up with it. And it's at the point. Wait. Cross ice, shot, knocked down, another one. Weeks made a stop, it's loose on the crease there. The Blues have it, power play over. Pody can get back into play, maybe. Weeks made another stop, oh, there's an open net. They miss again, and now they score, no, they're waving it off. No goal. Nice the Blues stick. say it's in, Waite says yes, the official said no. I think he said high stick, but I'm not sure. Maybe it never went in. It was knocked out of midair for sure. There's 7.8 seconds left on the clock. Sillinger's hot. The referee was behind the net watching everything. He's going to go and try to explain what happened. Here we look at it. Weeks doesn't know where the puck is. Kachuk was going to score, but his shot was chipped away. And then the shot there was taken. And they're saying high stick. Sillinger says he scored. Now watch somebody from the Rangers stick. Saved a goal. Does it ever go in? It's coming up see. over to the left now goes the puck. There's a high stick from the right here coming. Well, here it comes. Puck. Yeah, oh, it yeah went he in. banged it in, it but his in. stick was well above his shoulder. And that's a reviewable play, I think. The puck's not gone in yet. Malik had already saved a goal for sure. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Zillinger had his oh, stick that below looked, his that shoulder. That looked like it should be a goal from what I see. 7.8 seconds well, look left. Look at Malik. Malik right here will save one as Kachuk had the open net. Puck's coming down. Oh, that's way yeah. below the crossbar. That should be a goal. Unless they're saying somebody was in the crease. Number 12, Stepanak. Let's see where he is. Well, he's, yeah, he's in there. He's, oh, he he's was well in the crease. In there. Are they saying that's the difference? Oh, we'll see. You know, if he was a part of the play and, and got into the referees. And there's Leon Stickle over on the left side. He's the supervisor here. If they're saying Stepanak was, Stepanak was, was in the crease, Stepniak. If he was a part of the play, stopping the goaltender, oh, they say it's a goal. it would not be a goal, but he had nothing to do with it. And that puck was well below the goal, the shoulder weight, or the uh, crossbar height, my apologies. Well below the crossbar height. Sillinger will get it. He knocked it out of midair. And we're tied at four with 7.8 seconds to go. As ninth of the year for Sillinger as they storm the Ranger net six on four. Well, the penalty had just ended, I believe, so yes. it was five on Yes, four. it was, Mike. Well, it was six with six the goaltender pulled. Right. So they still had the extra man. And so the Blues have tied it up. What a wild game. In the third period alone, both teams with two goals. And the final seconds will tick off here in regulation. We're headed to overtime. And the Blues with 7.8 seconds left have earned themselves a point. We're coming back overtime in a moment from the Savas Center in St. Louis 4-4 game. Well, Mike, upon further review as we're tied at four, headed to overtime, Sillinger and the Blues may have gotten a break. You're going to see the puck goes in the air. Stepniak is there. I think he touched the puck well above the crossbar. Right in there. He touches the puck there. And it goes to Sillinger who knocks it out of midair. We had another angle. Now watch Stepniak touch the puck with a stick right. No, maybe not. No, no. You know what? 
that's not conclusive. The puck never really changed direction. From that angle, it almost looks like it. The previous angle looked like it didn't. So the officials may have made the right call. Hard Fact, probably see. did make the right call. Puck was waffling around, floating yeah. around. And boy, what a play by Sillinger, though, to bat that out of midair. Oh, yeah. What a great play. All right, here we go, overtime. The Rangers start with Ruchin, Ruchinski, Cody, and Tootin. Four on four for five minutes. If they don't settle it, we're going to a shootout. Here's McCammon moving in. Ruchinski picks it up along the far side boards. Ruchin feeds him back. Ruchinski has a goal in this one. Cross ice, Tootin. Holds, got a center and a penalty coming up to the Blues. Tootin stays with it. Weeks is headed to the bench. Ruchinski along the boards, gives to Ruchin. Fires a shot, deflected wide. On the near side, they still have it. Pody got another shot in. Ruchin got it. And then Laleem stops him, and that will stop play with 4.23 left in overtime. And the Rangers have the power play. Well, this is what the Rangers gave up in Chicago. They gave, actually it was a, a four minute double minor to the Rangers and Chicago scored a four on three power play goal. Now the Rangers with McCammon in the box, a hooking call on him, have a chance to put it away. There's the stick into the midsection. Even though McCammon had one hand on his stick, he tried to stop Tootin from getting the shot by twisting his arms. And the referee makes the call. They've been, they have been on top of their game regarding the hooking calls in this game. Power play Rangers. The 20th penalty of the game. The ninth called against the St. Louis Blues. The Rangers have 11. They win the face. Well, Pruka winning the draw off Sillinger. That's pretty good. Straka straight on. Gives to Yager. Fires one and Levine gloves it. Good save there. Good set up by the Rangers. Pruka has shown me that he's pretty good in the faceoff circle. Sillinger's one of the better NHL guys and, and a veteran. Has been there a long time winning faceoffs. And then Straka got the puck, looks around, there's Jager for the shot, and a good save by Laleem. Oh, baby. From the draw. Salvador tries to knock the puck out and, and Straka made a nice job, did a nice job keeping it in and then Sillinger took off and he was slapped at a couple of times. Watch the hook. Not yet, not yet. And that last little slap on the hip <laughs> must have been the, the call, I guess. I, I was know. waiting. I don't know if the I arm, saw that. The arm you? never went up until our last little slap into the hip. That's when the arm went up. Wow. So. All right, so here we go, three on three. I think there's a lot of people perplexed watching this game including me perplexed I gotta look that up three on three Kachuk bets face off bets wins now Malik so Yager it's almost like pod hockey now three on three here we go well there was some thought in overtime Mike during the offseason of going four on four and if nobody scored go three on three yeah it's not they a bad idea shoot. let's see what happens here all right Rachinsky Yager Yager moves in Trying to feed Malik. No, he's going to hold on to it. Trying to get a shot through screen. Ruchinski saved it for the moment. And Malik has to chase it back. A lot of open ice now. Malik across the red line and into the zone. Leaves for Yager. Quickly in. Ruchinski fires. High and wide. And it went in. Oh, how did it go in? Let's see. It came and off of Kachuk, I think. No, I think, Mike, it went off the glass. Ruchinski will get the goal and hit Lalim in the back and went in. And the Rangers are going to win this kidding? thing in overtime 5-4. Oh. Uh, one of the strangest finishes you'll ever see. It ended up you behind Laleem off his back, we think. Yeah. And yeah. in. What? Uh, I mean, uh, just an absolute cannon of a shot by Ruchinski. He missed the net high and wide. Kevin Weeks will get the win 5-4. And for Laleem, it's been a nightmare of a season, and that nightmare continues. The Rangers get two points. On one wacky hockey game, on a wacky finish. And talking about this, wacky. This shot went off the glass, came back, hit him in the back, and went in. This is just absolutely wacky. Sillinger whacked it in with 7.8 like a baseball player. Out of midair. And then Rachinsky carrying one off like a basketball Yager player off did the a, glass. Yager did a good job gaining the zone. That was Malik and then Yager. Yager now messes with the puck. There's the shot. Off his back. Oh, right off his... It, 
yeah. right off his back. Yeah, off his back and in. Oh, he wasn't sure where the puck was. Malik drove to the net. Here's the shot. Off the glass. Here comes the puck eventually. Lalim doesn't even know where it is. And back off his back and in. I saw Peter Forsberg get credit for a goal recently in Boston when the Philadelphia Flyers won there. And, I mean, for the Rangers to get two points here, you take it and you run. Five points and of the six available on this three-game road trip, that's the second one that ended up falling in behind Lalim in this Yager, game alone. Yager had another one that it hit Lalim's arm, went up in the air and back over the goal line. That's why I say... Get this, uh, get this thing, get the two points, put it in the standings, get on the charter and go home. Get out of town. All right, the Oppenheimer Team Contributor Award goes to Kevin Weeks. 27 saves. Oppenheimer funds the right way to invest. Coming up next, Sports Desk, Gary Apple back in New York. More Rangers post game. Michael Pecker returning to the island. Heisman Trophy winner. We'll hear all about that on Sports Desk, presented by Toyota, coming up in just a moment on MSG Network. And we'll be back. Rangers win it 5-4 in overtime. Thank you.